literally on Ray Allen. Nice. You know I mean? Like Ray Allen was really playing. That's cool. And he still won. And yeah, and I guess he was upset because he was like, oh, when when this movie comes out, the league is gonna fucking make fun of me because <laughs> this you know professional <laughs> actor yeah. scored on me. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's in, crazy, right? Yeah. Do you know how old um, Ray Allen was when this came out? He couldn't have been more than 22. Yeah, he's, 20. so he's probably early in his career. I know yeah. he's that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you, uh, do you want to... I have a Conan O'Brien interview okay. with yeah. Spike Lee from... Uh, from 98. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the audio is a little... <laughs> a little wonky. A little, a little wonky, but I mean, <laughs> uh, that adds to the, you know, to the appeal, right? Yeah. Um, so let's check that out. So it- directed 11 feature films including she's got to have it do the right thing and malcolm x now his latest film he got game is the number one film in the country please welcome spike lee It's only right that we we'll talk about the movie in just a second, but you are the biggest Knicks fan, fan in I don't the world. Know about that, but uh... hmm? well, one of the biggest. You're one of the most committed Knicks fans. You're wearing a Knicks button right now, and uh, we have some yeah Pacer fans probably in the crowd. A couple, yeah. Uh, security is escorting them out right now. <laughs> now, uh, how you feel? I mean, they lost. Uh, I'm sorry. First of all, my apologies. They lost the first two games, so you got to feel bad about that. Well, I was happy that Patrick played, and he hadn't played since December 20th, and uh, mm-hmm. he did decent, but coming home tomorrow, for Saturday, and starting in the Garden, national television, NBC, so I looked at Knicks to win both games and tie it up. So you're going to be there in your normal seat, right? right? Right. And you really get involved. You get pretty heated. You get involved, and you, you get very emotional. I mean, there are times where I'm looking at you on TV, and I think he's about to throw a shoe at somebody. You know? No, I Have mean, it, it's to... like a visible, visible wall, and you can't cross that line. So I've never, you're never going to see me on the court, but... Uh, mm-hmm. But you could throw something. <laughs> I mean, I'll get my, my tickets revoked. Well, but, uh, you know. It's, I enjoy the game, and it's mm-hmm. a way for me to... To relax, so, mm-hmm. and I know all the guys. We have a lot of fun, so to make it more fun, I think. But even though, I mean, when I talk to the guys, not mean spirit. You know, we're talking about stuff that's not even has anything to do with basketball a lot of times. So, really? Yeah. You call the guys out, like during a game, and you're talking to them and about just anything, gardening, stuff like that. Well, not that garden, <laughs> but. Uh, I just have a lot a good rapport with the guys. So yeah, I think I, that would make it more fun for you because you do know these people. You know all the Knicks. You're friends with these people. And the visiting if I team went, too. Yeah, but if I if the visiting team also, you're yeah. friends with all those guys. A lot of them. See, that's not. If I went and I got a seat like you, and I was like, "Oh, Patrick, yeah," he'd be like, "Who's that?" <laughs> <laughs> they know you. Uh, probably. Maybe. They know you. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the kind of movies you make because I'm tempted to, or I'm thinking that you would be tempted to want to make. A big action picture at some point because that is what you know they're so splashy they make such a big fuss over those kind of movies have you ever thought i spike lee i'm going to make a movie yeah, about a know. meteor that could come into earth or something like that like armageddon or deep impact right yeah no <laughs> <laughs> never never tempted to do it no. and, and there's nothing wrong with those films i go see those films when they come out but it's not really something that I would be interested in doing because a lot of those science fiction films, you know, special effects films, you know, people just look into a blue screen, you know, and I, Godzilla, they weren't looking at Godzilla, they were look up in the air, that's Godzilla, and act scared. <laughs> right, no. right. It works for me, and then they have a giant rubber foot come down and stamp I, I on it. I think that yeah. when you do a film, it's really two years out of your life. It has to be something you're really passionate about. So, mm-hmm. Well, speaking of which, you've done uh, a movie about basketball. I was right. thinking about this. It's got to be a nice dream for you because you got to work with some NBA players. Mm-hmm. You're shooting primarily on basketball courts, and you love to play. You're working with Denzel Washington. For the third time. For the third time, a guy you love to work with. And I understand he was, even though there were scenes in this movie, I was watching... Uh, one uh, one scene where he and Ray Allen are playing against right. mm-hmm. one another, right. and Ray Allen, of course, an NBA player. Right. Milwaukee Bucks. Denzel looks like he's really competitive with no, this Denzel NBA player. No, Denzel basketball. He's an athlete. He played. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
JV team at Fordham University. Mm -hmm. And his coach was the infamous P.J. Clissimo. He's the one that got choked by Latrell Spears, Freewell. It's so sad. That's his claim to fame now. now it you is. Know, after all these years and all this hard work, I'm sorry, the name doesn't ring a bell. No, this. Oh, you. That guy. That guy. He does that when they don't, you know, take his American Express card. He's like, no, me. Uh, but uh, Denzel could play. He's an athlete. And one of the reasons why we chose the cast basketball players. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of sports films fail because they have actors to play athletes. Mm -hmm. And in basketball, excuse me, football, baseball, box, I think mm -hmm. you're more apt to get away with it, but it's very hard. It's to hard to fake, fake it. To yeah. fake basketball. I and mean, if you ha if you cast an actor, you can have a shots where somebody shoots the ball, leaves their wrist, and you see the, then the cut, and the ball goes through the hoop, you know, that, that you don't want to do it like that at all. That would be the basketball film I would be in. <laughs> you know? I'd, there'd be a shot of me going, ah! like that, and then just swish, another cut, and then me going, yay! So we, we cast real guys, right? and we felt it was a, it would have been a bigger risk to cast an actor than cast a ball player. And Ray Allen, who plays the lead Jesus, mm -hmm. he worked with a great acting coach. Her name is Susan Batten for mm -hmm. eight weeks. Five days a week, eight hours a day, she would work with him. So when we began to shoot, he would be ready. Now, how, how competitive, I heard that Denzel on the set really wanted to try and get points. Uh, yes, in the script, in this, the, the, in the end of the movie, they have a climactic scene where father faces son. Denzel is the father of the number one high school player in the nation. And uh, in the script, Denzel's supposed to lose 11 zip, 11 nothing. But Denzel said, hell no. You know, I'm going to score at least one basket. Mm -hmm. And Ray, you know, being a neophyte, he said, well, if it says I'm supposed to win 11 up, then I'm going to make sure Denzel doesn't score. But, but Denzel scored five baskets. Well, I, some of them were lucky, but they, you know, it still went in. And, and, and Ray, and Ray a couple was, of ones where he just threw it up. And, and Ray was mad because he knows that when the movie come out, he would hear about it from all the guys in the league. I would, I would think so. Well, uh, we have a clip here. I think it's the clip that you're talking about. Yes. This is uh, uh, Ray Allen is Denzel Washington's son, son, and this is a climactic scene where they have to play each other, and right. the stakes are pretty high. And uh, let's take a, a look at this clip. Is that a real basket he got off of him? That was the first basket. That's the first basket. Right. Okay. Now, my question is, is, is that a wig afro or real afro? No, that's a real afro. That's the real afro? That's Denzel's real hair. Af fake afro wigs don't work. <laughs> fake. You're telling me, all right? <laughs> fake. So I tried it in the late 70s and no one bought it. <laughs> Luckily, Denzel was able to grow his hair, uh -huh. so it, it worked out. You yeah, all had to wait. <laughs> Gave the script far enough in advance. How's that hair coming, Denzel? And he had a braid. See, he's a convict, so that's why you could wear it braided up. And... It's a really cool idea for a story. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, when I heard the story idea, I thought that's a neat, neat concept. Right. Uh, the movie He Got Game is at theaters everywhere right now. Number one movie last week. Well, no. Deep Impact opening today, so we had it for one week. Did I point out that it's a climactic scene between father and son here, but then it's interrupted by a meteor shower? So. <laughs> to watch that scene, that's pretty... Hey, Spike Lee, thank you very much. Thank good you. to have you. Always good to have you. Nicholas Turturro coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. All right. So that was nice. the... Uh, nice. The interview. That's cool. Do you want to hear some swan facts? <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. All right. I only have a few Just a few uh, For today <laughs> But um, So the movie was filmed in 23 days Wow this is, uh, Yeah that was pretty fast right This was Spike Lee's first film To open at number one At the box office Wow I As did. I think they said in the uh, interview The The shoes that Jake purchases at the store In the film mm -hmm. Were the Air Jordan 13s <laughs> nice. Way, way back. Way back. Um, Spike Lee originally wanted Kobe Bryant to play the role of Jesus, but it was uh, his rookie year, and he had too much on his plate at the time to take off uh, to take off time to to, to shoot the film. Hmm. But I guess he was very he really really wanted to do it, but he had just went through some uh, some rocky stuff, so okay. he had to go to like a summer camp or some kind of camp okay. to train. Yeah. So uh, that that uh, ultimately. 
took him out of the running. And then um, Spike was like, okay. And he immediately, immediately went to uh, Ray Allen next. That's cool. So he was like next in line. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> oh, short, man. That's yeah, short. yeah, only a few. <laughs> um, those, are, those are cool. Short and sweet. Thank you. Nice. Um, one thing I want to, I don't know if you know if it was rehearsed or not, but um, that scene where uh, Jesus and all of his teammates are kind of, uh, they're practicing by themselves, uh-huh. and they get in an argument, and then uh, Ray Allen's like, oh, give me the ball. And, he's like, and then one of his friends is like, or one of his teammates is like, oh, you want the ball? And he tosses it. And it goes into the hoop on the other side of the court. Mm-hmm. Do you know if that was, if they were, if it was planned to do that, or if it was because the reactions to me looked sincere? No, I like, think that was luck. Lo- because I think, I think was, you know like, when he lo- threw it and he turns around, he's like, "Oh, did you see that?" <laughs> and all the reactions like, "Oh, damn, that was tight," you know. No, no, I think that was that had. There's no way that that was stage that that would have been them standing there for hours and just keep on doing that same scene over and over and they would have to do the dialogue because it's all one take yeah they're talking and yelling at each other and then uh he's like you know what forget this and he throws the ball and it and he makes it from like way past like he's like on court like yeah he's where the other he's in the (laughs) other corner of the court like on the other side (laughs) next to the hoop basically yeah that's like not even a half point shot yeah that was uh Insane full court shot. That's insane. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was pretty cool. When I saw that, I was like, man, like wow, that, that surprised me. Um, one of the other scenes that surprised me was um, Denzel's character, um, his uh, reaction to DeAndre, mm-hmm. uh, Lala's uh, boyfriend, or or the yeah, his side the, side man side, side piece side piece. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, She's like, oh, no, that's my brother. And Denzel's just looking at him, and he looks back, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can you see know, the resemblance. I see the resemblance. <laughs> he's like, you know, you know, he's like, I, I feel what you're putting down, sister. And then he's, like, talking, like, oh, yeah, you know. He's like, let's help out each other, you know. And uh, he's I trying think, to get her to back I, Yeah, off. I think that was, yeah. And that's, uh, that was a, that scene was pretty funny when he, uh, he kind of, like, karate chops him in the neck. Yeah. In his windpipe, and he's just there, like, oh, oh. And he's like choking. He's like, "What? What'd you say?" Yo, you can't talk now. Yeah, and he okay. throws, <laughs> then he throws an elbow into his face, <laughs> and uh, dude goes down. But um, that was pretty funny. I really enjoyed that scene a lot. And then he just takes off running down the street. Yeah, he's like, "Oh shit, I'm on house <laughs> arrest." <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that scene is is crazy. And um, how did you feel about? Uh, What's her name's character? Uh, Mila, Mia, Mi, uh, Mila Jokovic. Yeah, um, she's good. It's always it, it was surprising to see her in a film like this, mm-hmm. especially the character that she plays. Yeah, kind of out of out of her element. Uh, kind of somebody who's who's kind of like a lost soul. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a what would you say like a hooker? Yeah, living across uh, from the uh, the shitty kind of motel that Denzel's staying at, mm-hmm. right next to his room. And uh, he, he sees her get, you know, kind of abused by her pimp or whoever uh, sweetness is. <laughs> yeah, sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he kind of, uh, he kind of falls for her in a sense. Mm-hmm. And, and he hasn't, he hadn't been with anybody since, or uh, woman-wise. Like five years? Uh, uh, yeah, since mm-hmm. he, the the untimely death of his wife. Yeah. So, um so he, for whatever reason, he kind of uh, relates to her. Mm-hmm. And he, try, kinds of, he he tries to get close to her, and uh, and they have a, a little relationship throughout the film. Yeah, which is which is kind of cool because he's uh, he he sees this person who's probably not treated very well. Yeah, and he's, our, he's, like, he sticks up for her, kind of. You know, yeah. and tells her like, "Why do you put up with this? You know, why don't you just leave?" But then he's not he's not abusive either. He's like very nice and, yeah. and kind of caring and yeah. trying to nurture her and, and and tell her everything is going to be okay and he does that until he has to uh go back to yeah. to to prison. And she gets kind of she kind of gets her uh happy ending cuz she it, I think it shows her on a greyhound mm-hmm. going she to She gets out. Yeah, she gets out of that life and uh I think that was from the money that he gave her. Yeah. Yeah, because he goes back to the his cop buddies who are you know uh, watching him basically while he's out of prison, and he says, "You know, I need some money. I'm broke. Um, I need some money. I'm taking this lady out to a fancy restaurant." And they're like, "Okay, well, here's some money," and he you know he probably gives her a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. 
I, uh, I doubt that he was actually broke. He just gave her everything.